So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I'm going to show you where to farm relics from the Meso era. Now there are 10 Meso relics in total but 4 of them have been vaulted so you can only farm 6 of them right now. The ones you can farm are D1, F1, S1, S2, V1 and V2. Now if I were to guess I would say that you probably have fewer Meso relics than any of the other relics and that's simply because they don't fit into any of the mission tiers we have in Warframe, that being low, medium and high. They are somewhere in between a low and medium missions, so they are often rewarded on B rotations with fairly low drop chance or they are mixed in with other relics. Luckily though, there are three defense missions that fit into this low to mid level tier and are really good for farming meso relics. The first one is Io on Jupiter, the second one is Helen on Saturn and the third one is Paimon on Europa. All three of these defense missions have the same reward table and they reward Meso Relics on rotation A which is waves 5 and 10. Now the chance of getting them is incredibly high and out of all the runs I did I only managed to get a 15 endo pack once. All the other runs I did just rewarded me with two Meso Relics. So I would say that the chance of getting a Meso Relic on waves 5 and 10 is well over 90%. Now in my opinion the best mission for this is Io on Jupiter because the tile set is much better than it is in the other two missions. It is simpler than the other two tile sets and the enemies don't have as many places to get stuck or to take cover so they will run straight to the cryopod. This makes Speed Nova very effective and I was able to get one relic sort of every three and a half minutes. Helen on Saturn is still pretty good but if the enemies spawn on the top layer and the cryopod is on the bottom layer or vice versa it will take them a while to get to the cryopod and sometimes they get stuck on the stairs and they like to take cover all over the level. Taking Ember Prime with a World on Fire build did speed this map up but it still wasn't as fast as Io on Jupiter. Paimon on Europa is the slowest out of the three maps because the tile set is simply way too big and it takes the enemies a very long time to get to the cryopod. On top of that the number of spawn points for the enemies is too high so it spreads the enemies fairly thinly and it's hard to AoE them down which slows you down even more. Now there is one excavation mission that has an okay chance to reward Meso Relics on Rotation B which is the third excavator but it rewards Neo Relics on Rotation C which is the fourth excavator. So while it is kind of okay to farm Meso Relics here it is the most broken excavation in the game. There is a very high chance that for whatever reason the mission will only spawn one enemy at a time and I almost gave up when trying to get the footage of the Meso and Neo drops. Now there are also 4 interception missions that have a decent chance to reward you with a Meso relic on rotation A so that would be round 1 and 2. So if you're a fan of interception you can do Callisto on Jupiter, Osei on Europa, Umbriel on Uranus and Rhea on Saturn. But please bear in mind that interception missions can only be screwed up and completed slower than usual while defense missions can be sped up by using speed nova and using a lot of AoE. Interception missions are also pretty annoying to do solo and there is more random mods that you can get instead of the relics. Now as far as spy missions are concerned there is 9 of them that drop meso relics but only 3 of them drop meso relics exclusively and that's Dione on Saturn, Valak on Europa and Amalthea on Jupiter. And while they can be pretty good for farming Meso Relics, they don't drop Meso V1. So if you're after Meso V1, these are unfortunately not an option for you. But as I said in the beginning, the best way of farming Meso Relics in my opinion is simply doing 10 waves on Io, extracting and doing 10 waves again. That is of course unless you are extremely good at running one of these spy missions so you can complete them in under 3.5 minutes. And that's pretty much it for the video so I thank you very much for watching once again, I hope the video was helpful, I wish you good luck with farming your meso relics and I will see you next time, bye bye.